This will be a 140 Q&A practice test. Plaintiff attorney, Mr. Wilson, capital W-I-L-S-O-N. Defense attorney, Ms. M.S. period, Antonio, A-N-T-O-N-I-O. We'll start with the defense. <clears throat> Ready? Was there a shoulder of any sort on the right side of that westbound lane? Main varies. What about in that 500 feet before the accident, if you recall? I really don't. Do you recall if there was a fog line on the eastbound lane? No. Okay, how many times had you driven that stretch of Brea Highway in the vicinity of the accident in the last 38 years? Okay, okay. I didn't. I don't know how long your daughter lived in Pomona Hills, so I guess maybe it might be a silly question, but kind of. Sorry. That's okay, but you're helping me because had you driven that stretch of Maine for 38 years? Oh yes, okay, not on a regular basis, but I usually go through Morris Road, unfortunately. Is that an alternate route to your daughter's home? It's, well, no, it's the route that I take to go to the valley, which you sort of have to when you live in Burbank. There's not much out there, but you had taken Maine occasionally over 38 years? Yes. Okay. And again, this may not be a good question, but I'll try it anyway. Is there an estimate of how often in a year's time you would use that Maine highway? Like once a month or... No, I use it more often than that. I use it maybe once every other week, something like that. Okay, sometimes more if I have to be at my daughter's house for something. I have two daughters, by the way. Yes, that live, one lives on Maine, off that Brea Highway. Yes, okay, what's her name? Anna Marie. Marie, M-A-R-I-E, and Anna is A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. And what's her address? Okay, 7604 Maine, Brea Highway, yes. How far away is that from where the accident happened? Let me put it this way. It's a mile point six from Morris Canyon. Okay, does she still live there now? Yes, all right. At the intersection where the accident happened, was there any type of left-hand turn pocket to turn onto Morris Canyon Road? No. At, okay. And in that area of Brea Highway, do you know what the posted speed limit is or was at the time of the accident? I should know that. I believe it's around, it's around 45. As you approach before you approach that straightaway, before the accident, uh-huh, before where the accident happened, there's a curve in the road, correct? All right. Is that your recollection? Do you know how many curves there are in Maine? Yes. You want me to know exactly where I was, where there was a curve and where there wasn't a curve? I can't answer that, I'm sorry. Okay, you just don't recall. I'm sorry, no. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We're just trying to get your best recollection and it's fine for you to say, I'm trying for you. Thank you, we really appreciate it, believe me. So when you were traveling down Brea Highway and you said that anywhere from 40 to 30 to 50 motorcycles passed you easily. How fast would you estimate that they were going when they were passing you? Well, if I was going around 40-ish, 
they had to be going 50, 60 miles an hour, perhaps more. Okay, all right. And after they passed you, did they slow down? No. They kept going 50 to 60 miles per hour? Oh, sure. And the van that eventually was involved in the accident with the motorcycle, right, that was about six or seven car lengths ahead of you, correct? Correct. And were the motorcycle, these 40 to 60 motorcycles, passing that van as well? Yes. And when they were passing the van, were you able to see them passing that van? Oh, yes. And how fast were they going when they were passing the van? Fast, I mean 50 to 60 miles per hour. Yeah, you're going on the wrong side of the road. You want to be as quick as possible, I would assume. Uh-huh. Were they crossing over the double yellow line? Yes. Into the eastbound lane? Yes. And were they passing that van ahead of you to the right as well as the left? Yes. All right. The, the motorcyclists that were passing on the left, did they all go across the double yellow lines to pass your vehicle? Well, they were coming from behind me in segments. You know, for a while I thought maybe, oh, it's the last of them. And then, oh no, then a bunch of them came and they started passing, like in twos, sometimes even in threes, encircling the cars. When you say in twos, you mean two across, abreast. Two abreast, uh-huh. And in order to accomplish that, were they both in the eastbound lane? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right. The word list. Main, capital M A I N. Brea Highway. Brea, capital B R E A, capital H on Highway. Pomona Hills, capital P O M O N A. New word, capital H-I-L-L-S. Morris Road, capital M-O-R-R-I-S, capital R on road. Burbank, capital B-U-R-B-A-N-K, Burbank. Morris Canyon, capital M-O-R-R-I-S, new word, capital C-A-N-Y-O-N, Morris Canyon. Then we had Morris Canyon Road, so capital R on road. That will be it for the word list, and that will conclude our 140 Q&A practice test.